ever wonder what to do with the four by six inch sheets of paper I include in my kits? This is Rachel from Sweet Bee Paper Co. and I'd love to show you three separate projects to make with these sheets of paper. This is a series of three videos where I'll show you how to create three different projects with some variations. So make sure you check out the other videos and let's get crafty. So in today's project, we're going to learn how to make these super easy pockets that you could glue into a journal or send to a pen pal with some goodies inside. I'll show you two different variations. So let's get started. So for your pocket, you're just going to take your four by six inch piece of paper and fold it in half. Use something along the bottom so that you'll get a nice crisp fold. And I was trying to decide what decorations I wanted to use. I picked these two things out and I was trying to decide if that's what I wanted to do. So next I'm going to, and this is optional, I'm going to punch a tab in the top of my pocket. I'm using a one inch circle punch and I'm just guessing where the middle is and going a little under halfway through the circle and punching that tab out. So now when you put items in there too, you can kind of see them and it might be a little easier to open or to pull items out of your pocket. I did decide to ink the edges of this. This is also completely optional. I wasn't sure if the ink would show up with this paper, but it did. And it gave this really nice vintage glow to the edge of the paper. The ink I'm using is the Ranger Ink Pad by Tim Holtz in Vintage Photo. It's a very pretty brown and it's one of my favorite ones to use. So now it's time to glue our pocket edges together. For this, I'm using Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. And I found this on Amazon. There's two reasons I like to use this glue. One is the tip on it. I can get a really nice line of glue exactly where I want it to go. And not a ton comes out at once. And two, this glue dries completely down. Unlike an ATG or tape runner or some glue dots, those glues don't dry completely down. And why that's important in a craft project like a pocket is you're putting items in and out of it and they can have the potential to stick to that glue on the inside that's not dried down completely. This glue will dry down completely. I was surprised how much I really do like this glue, especially for gluing items down on an envelope too. Paper doesn't get wrinkly like it would with Elmer's glue. So I'm very pleased with it and would recommend it. You could use a glue stick on your edges. I usually don't because it's the glue sticks are a little bigger and it's just messy for me. It might work for you and that's awesome. I just can't get that tiny edge to work very well. But as you can see, I am getting out my glue stick to glue my ephemera pieces to and my paper pieces to the front of my pocket. And my favorite glue stick is the Scotch Create Permanent Glue Stick. And that, this is also available on Amazon. I think I got a three pack of these. I love this glue so much too for envelopes. And one thing I've really noticed with it is if you are, if you press your items down into the paper, it really adheres very well. If you have a way that you like to glue your items down, Continue to do that. If it works for you, do what 
works best for you. These are just suggestions for me if you're looking for something different to try. And if you have a favorite glue, let me know in the comments below. I would love to test out different glues for different projects. So there's my first pocket all decorated and I'm moving on to my second pocket that I want to sew the edges. This part is sped up. So in case it looks like I'm working super fast, <laughs> that's why. I decided to try a new edge punch that I got in that it, I really like how it looks too. It's really pretty. So for the edges on this pocket, I decided to do a zigzag stitch and I think it looks really cute with the punched edging at the top. At this point, I'm just going to finish decorating this envelope and they are both finished. So I'm just going to put some items in there for my pen pals and send them off to my friends. I hope you liked this video. Make sure you check out my other two videos on four by six inch paper projects. If you make them, let me know. Hope you have a great day. Bye.